daytime newscast in Northern California. This is the CBS 13 News at 4. I felt some pressure, some pressure to do something that I thought would, would at least symbolize and, and embarrass him. And so I decided to throw a pie in his face. Mayor Kevin Johnson gets hit by a pie. Yeah, some guy tried to attack the mayor. And then hits back. So yeah, the mayor hit him. The suspect, a member of Occupy Sacramento. When I threw the pie in his face, and I said, you need to better represent your people. How the mayor fought back. Our mayor was an NBA basketball player. The guy has wrestled with some pretty big guys in his day. And why the suspect says he did it. Sean Thompson is telling his side of the story today, explaining why he hit Mayor Johnson with a coconut cream pie. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Christina Janes. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live at the Sacramento County Jail with this jailhouse interview. Jennifer? Yeah, Tony and Christina, it's been a wild 24 hours trying to figure out what happened, who saw it, and why he threw the pie. Well, I spoke with him today, and the pie thrower says he, in fact, did it. He said he would do it again, and he said it's all because of the injustices he's feeling that's happening in Sacramento. This was a beautiful event. Everyone is there to celebrate the children. The children are singing, playing music. The fundraising event for Seeds of Hope quickly turned into a brawl with the mayor taking a pie to the face. Grabbed him and then threw a pie at him. And in, in doing that, Kevin just reached right around and went with the momentum and threw him to the ground. Local business owner Bob and Mulvaney had a front row seat to the hysteria. He did not wait a half a second. He was brave and he took this person down immediately. Local Occupy activist Sean Thompson was quickly detained, but witnesses say they stood there stunned, wondering why he did it. If he had put the energy into those things that he put into the arena, we would have so few problems left in the city. I mean, it would be a utopia compared to what it is right now. From jail, Thompson told a room full of media members he wanted Johnson to do more for the homeless in the city. I felt the pressure, some pressure to do something that I thought would would at least symbolize and, and embarrass him, and so I decided to throw a pie in his face. Sitting stitched and now in jail, Thompson says he was tired of not being heard. And I said, you need to better represent your people. As for the mayor fighting back, Thompson says it was in excess, but some witnesses say the mayor was spot on. The mayor is not thinking being politically correct when he's wrestling with someone who has just assaulted him. He's fighting, and he doesn't know if he's fighting to keep this guy from getting, uh, if he has another weapon on him. So yeah, the mayor hit him. There's no soft gloves in that kind of game. So how did this major incident happen without pictures? Well, I'm told that after this chaos erupted, that the leaders actually walked around and asked everybody to delete those pictures off of their cell phones. As for the coconut pie, I'm told by Thompson that the reason why he bought the coconut cream pie is because in case he backed out, he said he was going to eat it. All right, plan B. Well, he wanted the attention, he got it. Jen, thanks. Much more at 10 on this.